if you're in Vancouver, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and I told you that you could pick up a rental property for about $20,000, would that blow your mind? This ain't clickbait. I'm not joking. Let's talk about it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. This is Holton Wise TV. I'm James Wise. I help people like you, people like my man Serge from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, meet and achieve their financial goals with real estate investing, right? I teased it. I teased it, man. $20,000 out of your pocket. That's all you need, okay? $20,000. You pick up a property, right? Now, Serge, you're up in Vancouver, and everybody else who's probably watching this, I'm sure there's a lot of other people in Vancouver, right? And they're like, dude, what? $20,000? How does this work, right? Because... The real estate market up there, it's friggin' expensive, right? It's insanely expensive, right? So this is the whole the whole shtick, right? Surge is like, hey, I can't achieve my cash flow goals on a moderate budget in Vancouver. I'm gonna need to expand my my ah, I'm gonna need to expand my horizons. Got that one out there. Thank you. So that's what you're thinking, Surge. You want to expand your horizons. You wanted to look to other markets where the prices were much lower. In addition, you're looking for a little bit more landlord-friendly markets, right? So you came to the good old U.S. of A, baby. And you know what? We got blue states. We got red states, okay? Our blue states, probably similar to what y'all got going up there in Canada, right? I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm not like an expert in uh, Canadian economic policy, right? I have a very moderately uh, low level uh, of, in, you know, involvement with that type of stuff, right? But just from what I'm hearing, I understand highly regulated. Your landlord-tenant policies appear to be pretty tough, and your real estate's very expensive, right? It's very similar to a lot of blue states we got here, but we got some red states, baby. And in the red states... You can get landlord-tenant policies where you have a lot more rights, okay? A lot more control. And then some of them are very, very cheap, right? One of those, Ohio, Cleveland, right? Prices are insane. Serge is going to be able to pick up a duplex for 20 k out of his pocket. Doesn't have to come to America. Doesn't have to come to Ohio. My team, Holton Wise, we're going to be your boots on the ground, brother. Property management, maintenance, construction, tenant leasing, Fixing the toilet when something gets clogged in there, right? We do it all, bro. Insurance. I don't know if I said that, but if I didn't, if you're a landlord and you got property in Ohio and you need to lower your insurance rate, freaking send us an email, man. So the situation with this one, Serge, this is an off-market deal, all right? I recently analyzed this for a client, different client, okay? I thought we were going to have to go as high as 90. We actually were able to secure it for 87. Then, of course... My team helped him get a inspection coordinated, right? Because don't just buy stuff after you watch me talk on Holton Wise TV. I like to think I'm a pretty good salesman, okay? But don't just fucking buy what I'm selling without doing due diligence, right? I know that I'm not going to lie to you and rip you off, but every grifter is going to tell you that. So fucking check me, okay? Trust but verify. Check what I'm telling you, right? Do the due diligence. Get the third-party home inspection. And that's what my client did. My client gets a third-party home inspection. We help him coordinate it because that's what y'all need to do. And after he reviewed it, he wasn't comfortable with the condition of the property. Personally, I think he's being unrealistic with where the market's at, right? Part of my job is to explain to you guys where the market's at, what makes sense, what doesn't make sense. He didn't agree, and that's great. That's his right. He's backing out of the deal. No harm, no fall. I'm not mad at him. We're going to continue to look for other stuff that makes more sense for him. But because of that, Serge, this property, before it goes back on the market, I am going to give you that analysis in a moment here after the commercial break. I'm also going to give you that inspection report. Do that due diligence. I think 
we could then try to work that seller, work that listing agent down even further than 87, perhaps 85K. And I think the deal makes a lot of sense. And it makes a lot of sense for you, your goals, right? You're like looking for Section 8 stuff. You got 150 grand to work with. Based on everything you told me, Serge, I think this one's going to make a lot of sense for you. But if it doesn't, no harm, no foul, dude. We're going to continue working together, and I'm going to find properties for you. Because this, this is the name of the game, man. It's a numbers game when you're investing, right? we got to do due diligence on a lot of properties, right? Not everyone's going to make sense. you got to get the right property at the right time at the right price with the right financing. So let's take a quick break. I'm going to show you that footage. You let me know what you want to do, brother. Lenders, you might be wondering why I'm walking around in a bikini. Because this is America, that's why. Land of the free, home of the brave, the land of opportunity. Like the opportunity to click the link below and advertise your business on Fulton Wise TV. Welcome back. Let's get to the part of the show you're all here for. The numbers, the numbre unos. All right. 2307 Garden Ave, Cleveland, 44109. It's been on the market two weeks. $90,000 for this duplex. We only got two photos, okay? We don't have any interior photos. And based on the two photos we have on the outside, don't expect this thing to be in, like, immaculate condition. It's clearly not, right? It's clearly an old home. Uh, we've been given very little information. What we do have is this from the listing agent great investment opportunity two family in brooklyn center close to metro health in downtown cleveland on a quiet one-way street oversized one car garage and then he's got the rent roll right we'll pull it up on our chart so it's easier to see one unit paying 650 granted the market rent on that would be higher at 750 same thing for the unit paying 715 so this should be over the long haul 1500 dollars a month rental but i didn't even want to run the numbers based on that since these folks are paying a pretty good penny i don't see a reason you'd mess with your existing tenants especially given uh the shape of the property i'm assuming it's probably going to be needing an upgrade if you're going to get market rent tenants in there right so just based off the current numbers 1365 a month in rent right that's 16,380. now as far as price like i said they're they're asking 90k in this particular neighborhood, which I love the Metro Health neighborhood, by the way. The Metro Health neighborhood, it's like a CD area, right? My favorite area in the whole Cleveland market to invest in right now, though, right? I like this area because the pricing is still incredibly cheap. High rent for low prices. The tenant base is manageable. I like to put a lot of Section 8 folks in here. And then we got Metro, right? The Metro Health Hospital is investing uh, hun uh, sorry, <clears throat> Metro Health Hospital is investing a billion dollars into the area, right? Metro Health, billion bucks into their campus surrounding neighborhood. So if you're going to invest in a lower income neighborhood in the city of Cleveland, take your pick. We got a bunch of them. There ain't no shortage of low income neighborhoods in the city of Cleveland, but there's only one that I know of that's getting a billion dollar cash injection, and it's this one. So because of all that, this is my favorite neighborhood. And properties that are like this are typically flying off the shelves at 100K, 105, 110, 115. This one's only priced at 90. I think we got to get it. We got to bid at least 90 to take it down. And the reason that there's a discount on this one, I'm guessing your big ticket items roof, furnaces, hot water tanks. If I had to guess, they're probably going to be mid to end of life, right? Just so you're aware, roof on a property like this, it's like seven grand. You got to replace them every 30 years. Furnaces, they cost three grand. You replace those about every 30 years. Hot water tanks cost $1,000. You replace those about every 15 years. Not saying you have to do them all immediately. We'll find more info about that on your home inspection, but you have to understand, you have to plan for that, and that is why I believe the price is so low. So with that in mind, 1365 comes in, 16380 for the year, and we're going to plan for all that stuff I just mentioned, right? So your capital expenditures... $819 every year. I want you to save that. Save it in a different account. That's money coming to you, but I'm not counting it as part of your return because I believe all those bills, the roof bill, the hot water tank bill, the furnace replacement bills, those are probably all coming in the next five to ten years. So you got to save for those, right? Vacancy and non-payment. you got two paying tenants in there, but they don't stay there forever. That's not how the business works. So I'm going to have you save eight nineteen a year for that. Repairs and maintenance. When those folks move out, you got to do the units over, right? We're going to save eighteen eight nineteen for that, right? So even accounting for that, right, 8074 That's what I think your average 
true return would be. Yes, you'll be getting that, what is that, 8, 16, 20, 24, right? You'll be getting an additional 24 Why everything's happening right now on top of that. But I'm not going to call that your return because I think that money is going to get allocated towards future uh, costs of this property, right? That's part of the game. So with that said, assuming an average NOI every year of 8074 with a $90,000 investment, you put down 22 and a half, bank kicks in 67 and a half. That should pencil out to a 21% cash on cash return. A 21% cash on cash return for a property in an area that's C or D right now, but I believe we'll see some gentrification in the future. In addition, it's bordering other gentrified areas Ohio City, Tremont, Gordon Square, Edgewater, right? If I pull this thing up on the map, right, you'll see. All the really popular neighborhoods in the city of Cleveland. When they talk about the resurgence of Cleveland, when they talk about how the city has really turned around and it's a really great place for investment, this is what they're talking about, right? These little neighborhoods. Man, I don't know if my internet can move any slower on the show today. Sweet. Jesus. All right. So. Right here. We're here. Metro's over here. Tremont, Ohio City, Detroit Shoreway, Edgewater, the lake, downtown, right? That's all the hot stuff, right? And this is right there. So like I said earlier in the show, there's a whole bunch of low-income stuff in the city of Cleveland, none of which are bordering all that gentrification and getting a billion-dollar injection. So I really think uh, this is a pretty solid deal. But you have to understand what you're getting into. Again, I believe the big ticket items on this property are going to be towards the end of their life. We have existing tenants. When they do move out, and they eventually will, you're going to want to do turnovers. Once that happens, though, once we fix up those units, you should be seeing a monthly rent of 1500 as opposed to the current rents of 1365 which, of course, would make your monthly returns go up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.